shoot. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> I was in such a hurry I forgot to pull the DT flap down. So it actually flew like that with the flap up. Hmm. That's interesting. Hopefully it's powerful enough when uh, the DT pops way up high and it's looking to not fly, but that doesn't feel too good. <laughs> All right. Look at that. That's what you call having too many things on your mind as you're trying to beat the wind. But there we go. Okay. Looking pretty good. It's going to the left now. I put a little shim or a little gurney on the left side to turn left and it's looking really good. Ooh, it's going to go into the corn though, I have a feeling. Holy crap. Come on back. Yeah. All right. All right, I just had a flight with the uh, Bernelli. And what I've done here on this guy, it's his third trim session, I guess. But I wanted to see what would happen if I would force it to the left. And this time I removed the right rudder gurney and I put a left rudder gurney, just a inch and three quarters long by 16th of an inch wide by 1 32nd of an inch thick and it's on the outside edge of the uh, left rudder trailing edge it just stayed left the entire time it looked stable it looked like it wanted to climb um, yeah it didn't look floppy or you know out of sorts it looked like it was directionally going to the left as it was going the same way to the right in the past but when it transitioned to the left after going right it would almost fall out of the sky so this time i think that just had a much better flight path throughout it stayed left the entire time but it was climbing also it did do that stall with going into the wind and i don't know if that's a bad thing or not i I'm just going to keep going with it. Again, it was 1180 turns. And let's see, 1180. I can go up to almost 1800, I think. So I'm going to go over to the SOG and give this guy a shot using the bigger field and better drift and not 50 feet away from the corn. <laughs> All right.
Africa. Get up there, baby. Whoa. Yeah, get up. Keep going. Yeah, get on it. Atta boy. It's in some air. The DT popped. Let's see if now I can't get any closer. But that was a ride. All right. Well, that was fantastic. Um, I made some changes prior. I took some nose weight off. I gave a little bit more up elevator, and I took away a little bit of the right rudder, trimmed the uh, gurney flap a bit. Uh, here's where that is, right there. Probably took uh, three quarters of an inch off of it. And then I trimmed the gurney flap underneath the outboard wing, the, uh, right over here. It's a gurney flap underneath. Took some of that off, trying to open it up a bit and Get it to be more skyward through the uh, mid part of the power run and it looked like it helped for sure now definitely it grabbed some big air so i'm going to try the same thing again maybe put a few more wines into it just to compensate for the use of the rubber but i'm gonna hopefully see a similar path and uh See what happens, because it's close to max wines. That was uh, 1,460. I think there's another 300 in there. So I might go up over 1,600, 1,650 this time. All right.
Get up there, baby. Come on. <laughs> 